Lucia, I'm Sail Croatia employee and today I'm going to take you to Dubrovnik Old Town. Dubrovnik was founded in the first half of the 7th century and today is one of the most famous destinations within Croatia, attracting visitors from all over the world. As a UNESCO World Heritage Site filled with impressive must-see locations, Dubrovnik offers a Gothic Renaissance and Baroque architecture. Situated near Pila Gate sits this magnificent fountain called Lomporio Fountain. This fountain supplies the city of Dubrovnik with fresh water from the Dubrovnik River and is still to this day a favorite meeting place for locals and visitors alike. The walls of Dubrovnik run interrupted for 2 kilometers in length and reach a maximum height of 25 meters. You can walk around the walls and forts built between 13th and 16th century still intact today. We meet up with a guide who took us around with her group and gave us some interesting facts about Dubrovnik. Here you have a cathedral of Dubrovnik that goes back to 18th century and it was only constructed in order to replace an older cathedral which was destroyed by that big earthquake. And according to a very popular legend, old cathedral was constructed with money that was donated to Dubrovnik by Richard the Lionheart. Baroque as a style is super easy to recognize. You will always have stairs taking you to the entrance as if on a stage because this building demanded a platform. Really interesting thing with regards to the history of Dubrovnik is that we do not have a history of armed conflict when we go back to the days of the Republic because every single tension that they have they actually managed to resolve through diplomacy. But diplomacy really means golden ducats. It worked, so they continued to pay annual tribute. St. Blaise, patron saint of Dubrovnik, you can recognize you're looking at a statue of St. Blaise by the fact that he always has a model of this city in the palm of his left hand. The cable car takes travelers up Surge Mountain to take in impressive views on Dubrovnik Old Town and the surrounding islands. There are also a bar where you can refresh yourself and a homeland war museum if you want to find out more on Croatia's history. The thing you should definitely do while in Dubrovnik is to visit Lokrum Island. It's a small, lush, uninhabited islet 500 meters off Dubrovnik coastline, which houses a botanical garden, old monastery, a lake called Dead Lake and a nudist beach. Finally, relax and have seaside drinks at Bouja Bar, whose name literally translates into the hole in the wall. It is an isolated bar on a cliff where you can enjoy your cold drinks with music and amazing views. 